Out of the string of car burglaries hitting the far south part of the valley, some people have installed security cameras and are trying to stay awake all night so they can catch the people breaking into their vehicles. They live in the Southern Highlands and Mountains Edge areas. News 3's Christine Kim joins us live from down there. And Christine, you've been checking through the paperwork and find out how many car break-ins have been reported recently. Jim, Metro says since April in the Southern Highlands and the Mountains Edge area, it received more than 24 reports of car break-ins. A lieutenant tells me they did make a few arrests recently, but they are looking at additional suspects in this ongoing investigation. And that may be the reason why some residents are saying that these car break-ins aren't stopping. This has obviously been tampered with. Within four days, Daniel Fernelli says he's experienced three car break-ins. The trunk was open, all the doors were open, everything was ransacked. His neighbors, he says, also victims. Some of these crimes centered around Southern Highlands and Mountain's Edge captured on camera. Fernelli fears the break-ins are escalating. Handguns stolen, laptops stolen, personal information. They're stealing garage door clickers. The crime drawing residents as well as security guards to Metro's first Tuesday event so they can learn what they can do to protect their homes. What we've been doing, putting cameras, putting lights, so you know our, our whole house is lit up. They're, they're not caring. They're still coming. It's making everyone get really a little more paranoid and a little bit defensive to where they're wanting to, you know, take up and say we're going to be out there to protect our property and our homes. But residents warn they're now sleeping with one eye open. If you're watching this, you forgot your little flashlight on top of the seat with your fingerprints all over it. It's a matter of time before you get caught. And Metro says they're continuing to investigate the reports of car break-ins. Meanwhile, they want to remind everyone to keep your car doors locked. They say in some of these reports, it shows that the cars were unlocked. And also, if you have a garage door opener in your vehicle sitting in the driveway, make sure to bring that inside with you so they don't have access into your home. Reporting live tonight, I'm Christine Kim, News 3.